So let's look at the state of loneliness as it relates to work. So we looked at the state of loneliness kind of in general worldwide, but let's zero in on work now. And this is according to our research. 72% of global workers say that they feel lonely at least monthly, with 55% saying at least weekly. 30% of people report having a close friend at work that's compared to 50% back in 1985, so that's fell pretty significantly. 50% of CEOs report experiencing loneliness in their role, 61% believe it hinders their performance. And last but not least, 94% of leaders say that their teams are growing lonelier while working remotely. So you know this to be true, but let me just create a visual to help maybe make it a little bit more sticky or memorable. But this is what a healthy organization looks like. You balance high performance and worker well-being. That's the balance that we're trying to go for. Too often uh, in, in, in our work, we see it being out of balance, right? There's organizations that are hyper-focused on performance and they sacrifice the worker well-being and that leads to a high turnover, uh, a, a massive burnout. Or the other is true. They're just catering to all of the whims of the team but they're not performing and thus those businesses go out of, out of business. So we gotta find this balance. And that, my friends, is why I think it's wonderful to address loneliness. Because if we address it, worker well-being improves. And if we address it, as we'll soon see, it actually improves performance as well. So we get uh, one, one stone, two birds, and we can, balance, we can achieve that balance that we're looking for in healthy organizations. So here's the impact, and I shared some of these at the top of our time together. Lonely workers are seven times more likely to be disengaged at work, five times more likely to miss work due to stress, twice as often to think about quitting their job, and they're more inclined to believe their work is lower quality, so confidence uh, dips significantly as well. So if all, I guess it's, it's also worth noting that lonely workers are also more likely to be remote workers. So if all that's true, if we can solve for loneliness, if we can reduce loneliness, then we can have a more engaged, dependable, loyal, confident, productive workforce. Now I don't want to burst anybody's bubble here, uh, but loneliness can't be solved. Right? It's, it's not a problem necessarily to solve because again it's useful and it's a universal for us. What it is, it's a tension to manage. We're always going to have to manage it as a tension. It's not, we're not going to solve it as a problem, we have to manage it as a tension. And as you can probably personally attest and certainly from some of the data that I've covered, we are more at, at risk of experiencing this isolation and loneliness. So we've got to be more vigilant about fighting for our connections with one another.